On the way, Antonio and I stopped in on Jimmy Caruso at the public market, which is the only place in town that sells Tutto Rosso, which is imported from Sicily. Tutto Rosso is peeled pear tomatoes with fresh basil and comes in a one quart can. But Jimmy was out of it, so we got Progresso instead, which my mother also uses sometimes. Well, not today. She sees the can of Progresso and starts this Sicilian tirade of degradation towards me. I ask you for one simple thing and you bring me shit. Progresso's too acidic, it's too acidic, don't you know that? trying to calm her down, but we're just making it worse, waiting for the shoes to come off, because she used to throw missiles. So then my Aunt Joy steps in and says, Rose, don't worry about it, we can manage it to progress, so we just have to put some sugar in it. My mother goes, we're not going to put sugar in our sauce. Who do you think we are, Neapolitans? If you make the sauce right, you don't need to put sugar in. And then all of a sudden, we hear my Uncle Amo screaming from the living room, Jesus Christ Almighty, will one of you two happy dummies go out and get your mother the fucking Tutto Rosso? Huh? So she can stop with this fucking itty man. Like I said, the opera was always playing. <laughs> this is my uncle Amo. Amadeo Vito Morello. My mother's youngest brother. The grease back hair. The shades. The pose. He might have been a bit of a cliche, but that was my uncle Amo. Hey, do as I say, not as I do. He ran a construction business with my Uncle Carl, but he always had his hand in something else. And he wasn't exactly connected, if you know what I mean. But you couldn't tell him. When I'm back on top, back on top of June, I said that's fine. 1978. It's the beginning of my sophomore year at Xavier High School. We had a backyard picnic at my grandfather's house. And Uncle Amo just walked out the back door like he owned the place. Like he owned everything. The house, the yard, the grill, even the people there. Hey! Someone told me I could find some morons here! I thought he was joking! <laughs> cutting in on the action on the catering trucks near my construction sites. I'm telling you, permanent no permanent, finish them all, man. I'll touch the fucking thing. I don't give a shit, you understand me? Hey, Angela, what do you think this is, Shea Stadium? Get that fucking football out of here. Go get a piece of sausage or something. Fucking kid. <laughs> you tell that fucking Murphy, you want to fuck a lot of corns and I'm a day, you thank you, good going. I'll cut his balls off. You understand me? Good. Now go do something. I want to talk to my nephew. Hey, Stevie. Stevie, come on, I want to talk to you. Put the fucking plate down, I want to talk to you right now. Come on. I want to tell you something right now. <laughs> Ma, no, how sweet it is. Ow! <laughs> you, big shot. <coughs> what do you mean what's wrong? Don't fucking look at me like that. What do you mean what's wrong? I tell you what's wrong. Do you know what it feels like? Huh? And I gotta go down to the fucking Garibaldi's and find out from Joe Paisan that it's my nephew who's been taking the action away from me every weekend with them fucking football betting slips? That was the guy's real name. No shit. <laughs>
Joe Paisan. I, I, I don't know what to say. Go fuck your study now, Stevie. I'm telling you, you want to be a fucking wise guy? Huh? You quit school. You quit school and you come work with me, and then we'll see how big your balls I get, all right? <laughs> Listen to me. I don't give a shit you're my sister's kid or not. You make me look like a chump again, I'll smack into the hospital. You understand me? You tell your fucking friends in that fucking school the shop is closed. You understand me? Shop is closed! <laughs> Fuck the football slips and that in your brain! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, your brain. Who do you want to be? A happy dummy all your life? Oh, you think that's funny, huh? All of a sudden, I'm down ripples, I'm working the cat skills! <laughs> Hey, Rose, what's wrong? Huh? Don't move. Don't worry about it. Your son's a big boy. We'll be gone 10, 20 minutes. We'll come back. He'll finish his dinner. He'll clean the kitchen wherever you want. <laughs> Take the key. Stop the car. Rose, come on, please. <laughs> we get into the car. <laughs> Listen to me. These things I do, Stevie, this ain't no fucking disco ballerina tap dance. Once you're on this side, you can never back down from nothing or nobody ever. No joke, that's that. I don't give a shit. We drive across town to this bar called Sweet Williams Cafe. We go inside. We see this big construction worker, Joey Veroni, sitting at the bar. 6'4", 6'5", 260. Big guy with a long neck. They called him the ostrich. A lot of season. An ostrich! <laughs> Stevie, stand right there, don't move, don't say a fucking word. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you something. What is this, huh? And what I said to you last week? Uh huh. And what'd you say to me? That's right. So what the fuck is this? <laughs> they start arguing at the bar. The ostrich makes the mistake of telling my uncle to go fuck himself. So, boom! He hits him with the right hook. He had this wicked hook. The ostrich goes down in a second with a busted jaw. My uncle Alma puts his foot in the guy's throat like this, crushing his larynx. What'd you say to me? Huh? What'd you say to me, ostrich? Well, you ain't fucking flying now, are you? You got 24 hours, you understand me? 24 hours for the three grand, or I'm gonna torch your fucking house and beat you till you lay a golden fucking head. He takes his bottom teeth out like this and goes, Ah! Puts them back in. Walks over to me and says, Okay? Well, <laughs> you can bet that was the last time I ran the football bet in the <laughs>